Figure skater Elizabeth Tersenbeyeva has spent almost her entire life in Russia, but she will build her political career in Kazakhstan. Itari Tubbards practically did not work with foreigners, with a few, but at the same time important exceptions. Among them is Elizabeth Tersenbeyeva. She has been a representative of the Kazakhstan national team and the Itari team since childhood, but she had to leave for a while because of the citizenship of another country. Then Tursun Beva returned and it was under the leadership of Tubbards that she won the main medal in her career, the silver of the World Championship in women's single skating. In addition, it was Elizabeth who became the first adult figure skater who submitted a quadruple jump at official international competitions. Tursun Beva's whole life was connected with Russia in one way or another, but all this time she spoke for Kazakhstan and now wants to become a deputy in Almaty. How did it happen? For a long time we have not heard news from the life of Tursun Beyeva. Elizabeth officially ended her career only in the fall of 2021, although we last saw her at competitions in 2019. Elizabeth was injured before the start of the 2019-20 season, and forced her preparations the skater went to the start, despite the recommendations of doctors not to rush to return to the ice. This led to a relapse, after which there could no longer be any talk of resuming a sports career. Tursun Beva still appeared on the ice, but only in this show. The rest of the time she was looking for herself. She entered MGIMO to study international journalism, studied music, and traveled. The figure skater lived in two countries, but lately, apparently, she nevertheless made a choice in favor of Kazakhstan. She opened a figure skating academy in Almaty, and now she has become a candidate for deputies of the city's massacre at the city Duma. I feel great responsibility and honor for the opportunity in the future to become a representative person who could make changes for the better. This is just a beginning. It is easy to be an outsider and complain about the system, it is much more difficult to act, so this is not an easy step for me. Tusinda Eva wrote a message to her voters on social networks. Elizabeth's chances of winning are high, she is nominated from the ruling Aminit party, and has white popularity and support in the city. So this could be the start of a serious political career. She is not the first and not the last athlete who has chosen this path, but an important difference between Tursun Beyeva is her origin. Despite the fact that Elizabeth represented Kazakhstan, she spent most of her career, and along with it her life, in Russia. And now a logical question arises can she become a politician in Kazakhstan? Let's start with the main thing Tursun Beyeva was born in Moscow. Both father and mother of Tursun Beyeva are immigrants. We came to Moscow in the 90s to work, my father was from Kazakhstan, my mother was from Kyrgyzstan. Elizabeth spent all her childhood in Russia, and she began to play sports in the capital. The figure skater showed good results at the level of the Moscow Championship, quickly mastered the entire arsenal of triple jumps. She was even invited to the city team, and in the future she was seen as part of the Russian team. But even then, the level of competition in the Russian women's singles was so high that Elizabeth's family did not believe in the reality of such prospects. In this case, there is only one way out a change of citizenship. When choosing a new homeland, they preferred Kazakhstan. The sudden interest in this sport in a neighboring country was influenced by the success of another famous single skater, Dennis Tan. Just in 2013, Tan became the silver medalist of the World Cup, losing a little more than a point to Canadian Patrick Chan. Success was expected from Tursun Beyeva in women's single skating. For this I had to move. Before the Olympics in Sochi, the coaches of the Russian national team were forbidden to train with foreign athletes. Therefore, Elizabeth, who managed to get acquainted in Moscow with both Moscow coaches Natalia Dubinskaya and Alexander Shubin, and CSKA coaches Elena Bayanova and Svetlana Sokolovskaya, and then settled down with Tubbards at Kristalny, had to move to Canada to Brian Orser. Fortunately, financial support was provided in Kazakhstan. Elizabeth trained with Orser until 2018 and entered the world elite with him, but she always wanted to return to Terry. Since the transition was forced, Tubbards maintained friendly relations with Tursun Beyeva and communicated with her regularly. Tursun Beyeva made her first attempts to enter the quadruple jump under Warser. There is a video from 2017, when Elizabeth jumps the quadruple Salkow at the cricket club. However, there is an opinion that it was Terry who set the jump for the Kazakhstani figure skater. At the summer training camp with the Russian coach, Tusin Beyeva even inspired Alexander Trusova. The Russian woman's craving for quads was born after she saw Elizabeth's quads. 
to Sinbayeva waited until the end of the Olympic cycle and returned from Toronto to Moscow in the summer of 2018, she saw no point in changing her coach before the Games. The reverse transition of Elizabeth coincided with the transition of Evgenia Medvedeva from Tubbirds to Orser. Moreover, at the 2019 World Cup, Tursun Biva took second place, and Medvedev with the new team only third. At that World Championships in Satama, Elizabeth wrote herself into history by being the first adult figure skater to perform a quadruple jump at international competitions. Formally, that success of Tursun Biva was the success of Kazakhstani figure skating. But if you take it seriously, is there a large share of the neighboring country in the medal of the Muscovite, who was preparing under the supervision of a Russian and Canadian coach? Before the end of her career, she did not even fly to Almaty or Astana without unnecessary necessity. The girl did not even know the Kazakh language before. Choosing a flag for her was just an opportunity to compete at the World Cup without having to go through a rigorous selection process. And also receive guaranteed support from the state. Moreover, the Tersinbaeva family did not always perceive such support with gratitude. For example, two years ago a big scandal erupted the mother said that she regretted changing her daughter's citizenship. My husband and I thought that this would speed up the path to the main starts for the child, said mother Elizabeth Padishikin Sultanaleva. But we did not foresee the difficulties of competing for a country where there is no figure skating. Tadeshin also stated that other children and grandchildren will play for Russia. By the way, Tusinbaeva's brother Timur is now training with Tubbirds in Moscow. In Kazakhstan, this interview was met with bewilderment, although Sultan Galeeva's words were taken out of context. She meant that the judges could not take the girl from Kazakhstan seriously. In addition, behind the big teams there is always behind-the-scenes support, which Tusinbaeva was deprived of. Nevertheless, in a tough election race, Elizabeth's competitors will surely remind the girl of her mother's words, as well as in general, ties with Russia. Although there is a feeling that Elizabeth has a sincere desire to live in Kazakhstan and develop sports in this country, and the experience of working in the best schools in the world in figure skating will only help her in this.